Hi, this is Barry here and you're very welcome to this video and in the video today we are going to look at making 3D book covers and DVD covers and CD covers. Now I always recommend authors, bloggers or anybody else should always have a digital product of their own that they can sell because at the end of the day that is where the money is. You know you may make a few dollars with a Kindle book but you're going to make far more with creating maybe for example maybe a, a blog writing course or a fiction writing course or maybe a course on how to edit books or whatever it is there's no reason why you know anybody who is in the writing game can't sit in front of a camera do what i'm doing here doing some kind of screen capture and record a series of videos you know write up a couple of ebooks or whatever it is and bundle them all together to make a kind of high priced um you know either coaching program or a kind of one-off product and you know when you do that you're probably thinking well you know I need to have some kind of representation of this ebook that I have or you know maybe I have a couple of videos and you know how can I make them look a little bit more kind of professional so this is what I would highly recommend you come over to is this website here which is boxshot.com forward slash 3d um, hyphen pack forward slash hashtag SWF and you'll find this great tool here so you can use it for your 3d book cover a 3d box uh, a 3d DVD box um, we have CD covers as well too. Now these probably seem a little bit old school. You know, I imagine if you said to a child nowadays, go and get me the CD, uh, you know, they would probably look and say, well, what's a CD <laughs> and what is a DVD? Because, you know, everything's digital now. But having these on the sales letter gives a visual representation of, you know, an MP3 on a CD or, you know, this video kind of in a DVD format. It gives a kind of, it gives you something concrete that you can put in the sales there it makes it more kind of tangible it's physical rather than just saying like you know get on the sales or have and get 10 mp3s or you know it might look a bit better if you just with the names of the titles and there's it looks a bit more kind of it looks like the person feels like they're getting something for the money something that's tangible something that they can see so sometimes throwing a memory uh, a DVD box cover or a, you know a CD box cover gives a little bit more of a, a feeling for that part they're buying they're not just you know paying out cash even though they are doing it for a digital product you know having these kind of representations makes it feel like it's something a bit more kind of solid and that's why I highly recommend that if you are creating products to create kind of these kind of 3D book covers or DVD covers and all those different things because that's what I've used on my uh, sales letters and my email uh, sorry my sales letters for all the products I've done. Now I might not necessarily use these tools here but this was the first website that I started off doing. Now you can do all those things completely for free. You can create all those uh, images, DVD box covers, CD covers, book covers but the only thing that limits you on this website is the size when it comes to rendering your finished image you will get a decent kind of quality image and you can download it it may be a little bit on the small size but if you want to um, upgrade and pay for the image the finished image and you do get it you'll get a far larger size image and you'll get a better quality of image which will show up you know better on your website or your sales page or whatever it is that you're selling your products on but again if you haven't got the cash you can get away with the free version of it so you're probably wondering well how can I use these tools so for example say I was going to create this 3d DVD book cover oh, sorry the box what I would do is I simply create a cover just for the very front of it I don't do anything for the spine again for these ebooks I just disregard the spine it's just a simple image here for the front cover and how I do that is I basically go over to Canva and I use Canva's uh, Kindle ebook cover it's just taking a second for the tabs just to change over here but uh, in Canva I normally create all my book covers my DVD covers or whatever that I'm using and I just use this simple kind of one template that I upload to whatever website I need so in this case I use the Kindle cover here and I would just put this on the front of my DVD box or the front of my ebook cover or whatever it is and as you can see here um, if Canva will let, allow me to scroll down this is a simple kind of, um, you know, flat Kindle cover that I have created using Canvas template. Now, what I've done is I've downloaded to my desktop and I am going to use this now for my DVD box cover. So just take a second now for it to close this tab down until I get back over to here. So I'm going to select this one here, the 3D DVD box cover. Now, these templates aren't normally this small. I have just zoomed out just to give you a better view of how it looks so i just have to wait for this just to load up and again what i'm doing is i'm only using the one i don't want an image for the back because you're never going to see it and i don't want to be bothered I actually can kind of narrow image here for the spine because i don't want to do that it's too much work i just want to get in and get out 
So in this case here, we are going with the DVD cover. So the template is just going to load up here. And it's going to give me something. I can upload my image here. And now I can change when these do appear. There's little buttons here that you can adjust to the light set. For example, if you can do maybe the direction of where the light's coming in from, as you can see here, we can do like drop shadows. We can do no shadows. And what I can do is when this template loads up, I can click on it and I can drag it around to whatever position I want. And that's why I don't use the... Um, the Kindle, or sorry, the spine on the end of the DVD box. What I could do is I'm going to rotate it away from it, so you're never going to see it. You're only going to see the other edge of the DVD box and the cover. So again, when I've all those all this done and I'm happy with it, it's just a simple matter of just clicking the render button up here. And then once you do click the render, then it will render it. Now, depending on the quality that you want to render your image in, it will might take maybe five minutes. It could take twenty minutes. It all depends. So, um, and then once you do, you're given the option then to download the free one or you can upgrade then. I think it's maybe, it could be maybe $10 for maybe a DVD box cover. I guess I think it's $10 really roughly around about that price for any of the images you want in a high quality. But you probably say, well, $10 is a lot, you know, if I have to do maybe three or four, um, you know, different images. But, you know, if, if you compare that maybe going over to maybe Fiverr or going to Upwork or something like that and hiring somebody over there to, you know, create all those book covers, so it all adds up where you guys, you can do it all either here for free or you can get the uh, better quality images for more. So as I said, it's just taking a second to load here. So I'm going to do is I am just going to select the images that I want and I'm going for the front cover image. I'm not going for anything for this back or for the spine. So for whatever reason, it's a little bit slow today. It's not normally this slow. I don't know if it's whether my internet connection or whether there's software running in the background of the laptop today that's just making it a little bit slow. So I won't go through the whole process. I'll just kind of give you a quick overview of how you can do it. So as you can see here, that is the DVD box. So what I want now is I want to get my front cover. I'm not putting a spine on it. I'm not putting a back cover on it because I won't see, you won't see them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, choose that book cover that I've already created. It's just going to take a second here and you'll start seeing it appear here. Now you will find the longer your um, template and position, it might be a little bit pixelated at the start, but the longer you leave it, you'll actually see it start to clear up as you start working with it. So as I said too, you can actually click and hold this template and you can drag it around so you can change the position of the DVD. So what I'm going to do is I am going to rotate this DVD cover around so this spine here will be completely gone. You won't actually see it. So that's why you won't need to design a DVD cover. So as you can see here, this is the DVD box. Now what I can do is I can rotate it maybe a little bit more just to get rid of that dark blue edge. Okay, and then if I wanted to, I could drag it up this way or drag it down that way. But if I was happy enough with that DVD cover as it is, again, it's just a simply matter of, you know, as I said, it probably looks a little bit pixelated at the moment. It looks a bit blurry, but the longer you leave it just sitting here, it will actually start to um, clear up as it going along. You probably see it maybe coming in a little bit clearer. So when I'm happy with the position that it's in, um, I can add drop shadows or I can leave them out depending on how I want to do it. Just take a little, one little second. And then once I am happy with all the options I have chosen, simply a matter of clicking the render and then choosing the quality of the rendered image. Again, you know, once you have it rendered, you're given the option to either download the free one or you can upgrade to whatever. I think it's less than $10 for the, the um, you know, a higher quality image and it's actually in a larger size. So depending on where you are posting your image, whether it's just simply on a sales letter or a website, you may be able to get away with put a small version of it but I have products which I highly recommend everybody should have authors blog whatever it is anybody on website should have no problem setting up this kind of screen capture software that I'm doing now and creating your own digital um, content and this is a great website for you to you know create those kind of physical representations of your DVDs or your mp3s or your you know your book covers or reports or whatever it is and then just post them all over your sales letter or whatever it is um, as a way of convincing your um, you know your web visitor to part with the cash and to buy your course and when it's so easy to do there's no reason why you can't actually do it here
So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed playing around with the tool. And again, as I said, it's one that I've used before in the past. This is one of the very first ones I've used and yeah, I found no problems with it and it probably works out a lot cheaper. Go into this website and create other stuff yourself than hire maybe some of you on Fiverr uh, or Upwork or whatever to do the work for you. So I'll see you again. Take care. Bye bye.